everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. <laughs> Valentine's Day is coming up, and YesStyle was kind enough to contact me asking me if I wanted to review their little Valentine's Day box, and they said to me that if I wanted to go ahead and review it, they would let me do a giveaway. We're going to give away two of this collection, the Valentine's Day collection, so uh, stay tuned to see how to enter. Now, I'm an affiliate for YesStyle, I'm not being paid to make this video, but if anyone uses my link below to buy the box, then I'll make commission. So anyway, let's open this up and have a look at what's inside. Now, I have played with this before because I tried to film this video the other day, and I had my settings all wrong and the colours were really, really off. Anyway, so when you open up the box, the first thing that you see is this little piece of paper that's covered in stickers. Now the stickers are supposed to be for putting on the lid, so it's meant to be like a little sort of keep box. There's uh, little avocados, there's the love heart from the Instagram notification, there's a Wi-Fi symbol. Artie, which one should I use? Oh, which one? Oh, oh the avocado, of course, yes! What do you think? This is how it's all presented. This is a grapefruit perfume. There's two eyeshadow palettes, a blush, nail polish, and then two lip products. Now for today's video, because this is Korean makeup, I sometimes notice that people hold Korean products to the same standards that they hold Western beauty products, and you really can't do that because in Korea and in Japan, uh, makeup trends are very, very different. It's not so much about the blinding highlight and the intense eyes. It's more about a soft, subtle, youthful, glowy look in uh, Korea. So what I did, I hopped on Instagram and I found a couple of Korean makeup pages. The entire look that I'm going to do today is based on these Instagram videos. They're using Simply Neological's favorite eyeshadow applicator and they're just dolloping on three colors and then magically blending it all together just like that and it looks amazing. I'm gonna give that a try. I'm also going to try out Korean style eyebrows as well. It's a very different eyebrow style than what I'm used to but I'm gonna give that one a go. And then I'm also gonna try out Korean lips. So uh, I'm a little bit nervous. This is gonna be very different to how I normally do my makeup. I feel like it's only right to do it this way because I'll be doing the products more justice than if I try to use the products in the same way that I would try to apply Western products that I buy from Sephora, for example. So in terms of the eye products, there are two little eyeshadow palettes here. This is, this is the dark chocolate palette. And this is the cookies and cream palette. So the dark chocolate palette is full of mattes, really, really neutral colors. You've got five mattes, and then there's three sort of foiled metallics. The white chocolate palette has three chunky kind of glitter shimmer shadows, and then the others are again foiled metallics. So the packaging looks like this, and what you do, you just sort of slide out the little chocolate from the wrapper, like that, and it does look exactly like a chocolate bar. And I haven't smelt them yet, I completely forgot. Oh my god, it smells just like eyeshadow. This isn't Too Faced. Speaking of, what brand is this? The Face Shop. There you go, it's The Face Shop. Bless you. So as you saw, the little box just has eyeshadows, lips, blush, nail polish, and perfume. So the other products that I'm going to use today are also all from YesStyle. They're all products that YesStyle has given me in the past. So I'm going to do my eyes first, and I'm going to prime with this Ink Fitting Eye Primer. This is by Peri Pera. And the little mirror I'm using today is this one here. This is the Hagen Dazs collection that I believe Innisfree came out with. By the way, I have eyelash extensions on now. Now these kind of go uh, against the Korean makeup look because in Korea they don't really have the very, very voluminous lashes. They more have sort of these natural subtle lashes like that. Yeah, so that's gonna be the only sort of Western part of my makeup look today, the big lashes. But let's go in with this primer. Texture-wise, this Peri Pera primer reminds me a lot of the Fenty Beauty primer. I've used this a couple of times and it works exceptionally well for keeping the eyeshadow in place. It is basically on par, like I said, with the Fenty one. Same amount of wear that I got out of my shadows. I could wear them for a full 12 hour day with no creasing at all. So I love this primer. So the palettes come with this tiny little applicator like this. It's basically the same as uh, the one that Simply Neological adores. It's double ended. It's got a slightly thicker end on one side and then a thinner one for the other for really getting in there more precisely. 
Now, let's pull open this eyeshadow video that I found on Instagram. I found quite a few, but the one in particular that I'm going to try and follow today is this one here. So she goes on with gold, then a red, and then a brown matte, and then they just kind of buff it, and all of a sudden it looks incredible, and then... What is this witchcraft? I don't understand. Just look at it again closer. Okay, there's, there's got to be some brush action in there somewhere, right? Like, that's... There's a conspiracy here. So I'm gonna try and do exactly that. I'm going to only use a little sponge applicator like she does there. Wish me luck. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows first. I saw this interesting video here. So she goes on like that. She draws a box. She's using a pencil. Now I don't have a pencil, but she draws a box like that. Then she kind of like cuts out the end of it a little bit wipes that away, cleans it up a touch, and then just kind of rubs out the inner part. I mean, this is very different to how I normally do my brows. These are literally rectangular brows that are just kind of like curved off at the edge a little bit. So brows really, really change your face a lot. So I'm a little bit nervous to see what this looks like. You know what? Maybe this will be the, the best brow yet. Who knows? I don't think that'll be hard though. I don't think that it can get any worse. <laughs> Tati just tweeted me! Ah! Okay, so for brows. Now, I didn't pick up any brow products from YesStyle, but what I'm gonna do is actually try and use some of this eyeshadow. This shade just here, I think could possibly be a good match for me. So I'm gonna give that one a go. Don't you touch. I don't have kids, but I expect that this is what being a mother will be like. Your child just wants to come play with your makeup. Can you hold my eyeliner? Maybe that'll entertain you. So I'm just dipping into that sort of brown shade. I'm just using an angled MAC brush. This is a 266. In the video, they just kind of make a, a rectangle. Now this is gonna be a bit difficult for me because I do have brows. And although I'm committed to YouTube, I'm not committed enough to shave my brows as small as uh, what they are in that video. So she starts in the inner corner like this. Then she draws a line across. Whew. Then we're going up like that. And then across. High fashion, darling. All right, let's fill it in. Oh, she's not impressed. Now that I've kind of filled in the rectangle a little bit, I'm just going to, now I'm not wearing any foundation, but I'm just going to wipe it away on the edge. They used, what was it, a Q-tip? A Q-tip. I'm just going to use my finger and just try to kind of soften that up a little bit on the edge. But you want to you do it. You're a birdie guru. Okay, wow. This is definitely different to what I'm used to. Because I was using the eyeshadow on my brows, they are looking a little bit patchy. I tried to go in with a bit of a darker colour as well to sort of refine the edges, but uh, I didn't do the best job. But hopefully it'll all come together once I've put on the eyeshadow and everything. So I'm going to start off by going into, again, the dark chocolate palette. There's this shade up here that I'm just going to put all over the base. I have very uh, veiny eyelids, so I just like to use a lighter colour like this to kind of even it all out. Okay, so in the video, she uses a red colour, a gold colour, and then a matte brown. So in the Cookies and Cream palette, they've got kind of similar shades. I'm going to use the little spongy applicator, and I'm going into this shade just here. So just like in the video, I'm going to just put it as a little dot and then I'll move on to the next colour. Now I'm going to put the red on the inner corner and then the gold in the centre because I kind of want to pull out my lid and sort of make it pop. Here we go. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to take another one of these little sponge applicators and dip into this gold shade. And then we'll just put that one as a dot. And I'm not going to blend anything out until the end, just like they did in the video. Okay, and now I'm going back into the dark chocolate palette for the matte shade. Dipping into this one here. Okay, so this is the part I'm not entirely sure of because if you look at the video, they just kind of like go, <laughs> they just go like this and it's all suddenly blended together. I'm assuming that they actually use the little sponge applicator to blend it, so that's what I'm going to do. This is a, a little bit of a challenge that I've got going on here. Uh, <laughs> wish me luck. Uh, this isn't really working the way that I had hoped, so I might have to use a brush. I mean, like, in the name of challenging myself, I'm going to keep trying. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just do it like how they did on Instagram. Ready? Watch closely. Okay, so that took a little bit longer than I thought that it was going to. I tried to use a brush to go in and blend it together, but it wasn't really working. So the little sort of spongy applicator is absolutely the best way to apply those sort of shimmery eyeshadows in this in these palettes. As much as people make fun of them and like to toss them over their shoulder as soon as they open up a palette, I do recommend that you give it a try if you pick these up. Try using the little applicator and you'll see the difference that it makes. So back to the video now, they basically use the little applicator again to pop some brown on the outer corner of the lower lash line and then some sort of shimmery, almost like silvery white kind of colour underneath on the inner corner. So we're going to give that a try. I'm ridiculously impressed by how the matte brown is applying with this little applicator. Okay, I'll just blend that out a little bit. Back in the cookies and cream palette now, I'm going to take the lightest white shade. I'm going to use the same little applicator and it's got a very, very skinny end. So I'm just going to take that and put it on the inner corner. Okay, now for eyeliner and mascara, I've seen in some images that they basically just do, I think they call it like a cat's paw eyeliner, where it kind of comes down a little bit. It's very, very thin. And then they like to keep the bottom lash line very clean. I don't see many images on Instagram, on Korean Instagram pages, where they put lots of mascara on the bottom lash line. So I'm just going to leave my bottom lash line as it is. I'm going to use uh, the Laneige eyeliner from my uh, crazy finger eyeliner video. This one is Archie's favorite eyeliner because he can use it. But he's not going to today, no, because I'm going to. No, no, I need to. Okay, so that's the eyes completed. Now let's jump into contour. So if you saw my Yes Style Advent Calendar video, this one was one of the first things that I pulled out of the box. This is called um, Art Class by Rodin, and this is actually a really good contour for my pale skin. The middle one is the one that I like to contour with, and I don't really dip into the darker one as much, but I really like that there's the three different shades, because if, if you want to go a little bit darker, you can kind of pull more off this side. I'm just going into these two here. So jumping back into the Valentine's Day box, there's this little tiny blush down here. Now this blush reminds me a lot of, I think it's Clinique, it's got a little flower on it, reminds me a lot of this one. I'm going in really, really heavily with the blush because this is a Valentine's Day look and I'm like, you know what, when else are you going to really want to sort of blush up your look than on Valentine's Day when your boyfriend's giving you compliments from across the table and stealing your nuggets when you're not looking. So I'm bringing the blush sort of right up, up here. And I'm even going to whack it on the tip of my nose as well. I know this probably looks crazy to some people, but honestly, I just feel like Valentine's Day is a great excuse to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. If you're, if you're going out somewhere, having a, a fun date or something, and you want to look a little bit rosy and a little bit youthful. I love the pigmentation of this blush. It's amazing. It's really, really good. It's very buildable, easy to work with. It doesn't go on too heavy, but you can really sort of build it up to the, the peachiness or blushiness that you want. 
Does anyone else put blush on their nose? I've only just started doing it. I, I first saw Thomas Halbert doing it. I'd literally never seen anyone putting blush on their nose before. And I saw Thomas Halbert doing it and I was like, yeah, maybe I'll give it a try. And I don't mind it. Makes me look kind of like I've got allergies, like I need to sneeze, but that's the aesthetic I'm going for. Speaking of an aesthetic that looks like you need to sneeze, in my research I found that in Korean beauty they like to do puffy eyes. So what they do, they take a, a sort of contouring colour, so I'm going to go back into exactly the same shade that I used for my brows, and then what you're supposed to do, apparently you're supposed to smile, and where that little crease is, just under there, you're meant to sort of contour it. I know, weird, huh? But we're embracing new things today. Okay, now I definitely look like I've just uh, walked out of a field full of flowers and I've got allergies and I'm about to... <laughs> Going into some highlight now, this also came in the advent calendar and no, it doesn't come so sparkly. I just added a whole bunch of little bedazzled things to it. Remember that tweet, how I said Tati tweeted back to me? So I, I bedazzled a bottle of Halo Beauty and then I also just went ahead and just bedazzled a bunch of my own makeup. So I just stuck some little rhinestones on it. Now remember, in Korean makeup we're not trying to judge the highlight the same way that we would judge a western highlight. We obviously love our blinding highlight in a western makeup, but instead I'm just going to judge this as a nice sort of dewy glow. So that's what I'm looking for with this one. I have used this one a few times and I've found that if you spritz your face with some setting spray first before you apply it, it sort of, it, it brings out a little bit more of the shine, but it does look really natural. It looks more like if you had a, a sort of radiant foundation that you didn't set, that was just kind of a, a dewy, wet foundation. That's what this highlight looks like. But anyway, I'm going to fix my face with Etude House. This is the Fix and Fix Fixer. I, I love that. Fix and Fix Fixer. Green and Green Birdo. This mirror doubles as a fan. Okay, so this highlight has two tones to it, but I'm just going to run my brush through both of them. So see what I mean? It's more of a sort of natural, subtle glow. It's not really a blinding highlight, but it's not supposed to be. I'm also going to put a little bit of highlight just on the tip of my nose. Okay, and jumping back into the box now, we have these two lip colours up here. Now, I'm actually going to use both of them. I was inspired by that video where they put very dark red in the centre and then more of a peachy colour on the outside. The packaging for these is amazing. Oh, oh you're a charmer, Archie. Thank you so much. Now these are unusual because they're more of a, a tint, like jelly almost, and it tastes really sweet. Like once you wipe it off, there's still a bit of colour there, and when you lick your lips, it tastes sort of sugary. Really, really unusual. But look at this packaging. How beautiful is it? It actually looks like a rose. This dark one is really, really beautiful. They're very, very, very heavy, so they're really sturdy, so Archie can't break it. I mean, he's, he's kind of put a little bit of a dent in that one, but I don't know how I feel about this lip look. I tried it on myself last night. I tested these out. I'm a little bit torn, so you guys are going to have to tell me what you think. So just going to put a couple of dots at the top and in the center. And I'm going to use the orange to kind of go all around the outside. Actually, what have you got there? This season on The Bachelor. few things in the box are the uh, nail polish and the perfume. So the perfume is in a little roller. The crazy thing is, I mean, it says that it's grapefruit fragrance, so who'd have thought it actually smells like grapefruit? But no, like seriously, it smells just like grapefruit. It's insane how it's like if you just squeeze some grapefruit juice and then just put it on yourself. That's exactly what this smells like. So it's very refreshing, but if you don't like grapefruit, then you probably won't like this, but it does smell really, really fresh. Now, the only other thing is the nail polish, and I did just get a little manicure. I don't really want to put this color on myself, so I'm just going to insert a little clip of me applying it to Sam. Well, hello everyone, it's me, Alex, again. It's been a while since I last made a video about nail art, 
but thanks to Yes Style, it's not a problem anymore. They sent me this cute pink nail polish and we're gonna try it out. If I can even remember how to paint nails. But before we do, it's time for some peel porn. Oh yeah. Gotta put those in my peely bag. <laughs> and before I continue, I'm gonna need some tea. Sam! 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 What? Bring me the tea. Thank you, drink slave. I don't really wanna paint my nails, but seeing as you're here, can I paint yours? What do I get out of it? Banana hacks! <sighs> Welcome, Sam. Hey guys, I'm so pumped to be here, clearly. So before we begin, we're gonna need some hand cream. Banana hand cream. Shh, Ben. Behave. Oh god. Smell it! Holy sh- Oh shit. It smells like banana. Troom Troom is quaking. Can you open this for me? Well, not with my gooey hands, thanks to you. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's just so slimy, I can't. <laughs> We're adults, I swear. Oh, oh, nailed it. Na nailed it. Wow, pretty. Don't you stuff it up. Wow. You missed a bit in the top corner. Shh! Don't tell me how to do my job! I'm taking away points. <laughs> I need your thumb. Uh, hold on. Hold it like that. I'll just, I'll just twist it flat. How about that? <laughs> there you go. I am not paying you for this. I'll take you on vacation. You won't. You'll take Dan. I'll just get left behind to babysit Archie. He doesn't get the joke. Do you think I did a good job? Look, honestly, four out of five stars. Uh, four, sorry, four out of ten stars. I'm a sock. You're a sock. Now we just gotta add a hollow taco. Excuse me? Is that even dry yet? Shh. Shh. Oh my god, you're just barbaric with your application. What the f Alex? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? You're a barbarian. <laughs> Well, she doesn't have a bird to start with. What do you think, Archie? Woo! Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye! Now there's only one more thing to do, and then the look for Valentine's Day will be complete. What better way to surprise my Valentine than with uh, becoming a completely different person. <laughs> I feel a little bit like the blonde girl from uh, Is It End of the World, End of the Freaking World. Uh, I also, look. This wig I was given by Yuvini. Bought this beret off ASOS from their Hello Kitty collection. These little glasses I got off Romwe a really long time ago and I actually have to wear glasses now. And I really wanted a pair of glasses like this but I have no idea where to find them. That's it guys. If you want to pick up one of the Yes Style Dear Love Valentine's Day kits for yourself, they are $40 on the site. I do recommend it because the eyeshadows are really, really beautiful and I love that they look like chocolate blocks. The blush is amazing as well. The nail polish, well, I don't have it on but it's a really pretty colour. The grapefruit, that smells inc so good. So don't forget we're doing a giveaway of this box. I'm giving two of them away. So head over to my Instagram. Head over to my Instagram to find out how to enter. You need to follow me on Instagram. 
you need to follow Yes Style on Instagram, drop a comment down below, make sure you're subscribed here on YouTube. That's how to enter. Drop a comment below, let me know what you think. If you know anything else about Korean makeup that I don't know, tips and tricks that you think that I should know, please tell me because I'm really, really interested in trying different makeup styles. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Good luck to everyone that's going to enter the giveaway. And uh, yeah, with that, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!